In this video, we're going to work on the materials for our sword in stone scene. So let's get started with making material for our trees. We will select our grip and duplicate it and then call it bark. And this is what we'll start with. We'll go to the shading tab and we'll play with it. So first of all, I think our tree should probably be a bit lighter. And then maybe it should not be that shiny. So we'll go and make our roughness brighter, make it more rough. That'll probably do. And then I'm going to unplug this. And as you can see, it now stretches along the UVs because it's using the after we scaled our model and made it a lot taller. So they're stretched, which kind of gives it a little bit of a woodly look. Then I can boost the strength of the butt map to make it look more like bark. Next, I can go ahead and select our branches for one of our bushes and I can choose bark that too. And then for the leaves for the bush, I can go and choose the grass material. This will be all leaves and I can change it to green. Go a bit less saturated, maybe a little darker. And then I can turn the subsurface up and then I can make this more of a green too, maybe a bit more of a yellow. Maybe make it a little darker, something like that. For our dirt, we will also duplicate this base off of our grip material. So I'm going to duplicate this and call this dirt. And then again, I think this should be a bit lighter. So I'll tone it down. But maybe I want more contrast, so I'll have this part be kind of dark. Maybe play with these a bit. See what I like. Then maybe I will scale, change the scale around and play with this. You're not going to see too much of the dirt, so I'm not really that worried about it. And then we can save. Now finally we got to work on the stone material. So I'm going to use maybe the metal as a base and then duplicate it, then call it stone. And then I'll also use that on here. So I'm going to start by obviously making it not metal anymore. And making it more rough. I might even give it just a slight bit of a bump material. Plug that into height, plug that into the normal, and I'm going to tone this way down. Very small amount, just so that's a little bit subtle. Maybe something like that. Now, we might want some like edges and, you know, for it to be darker. So I might go into vertex paint mode. And what I can do is I can go to paint and there's this dirty vertex colors. I can click that and it will generate this for me. And then I can go back to object mode with control tab, control tab, vertex paint, paint, dirty vertex colors. And then I can go back into object mode. Now to use the vertex colors in this, we will need to hit search attribute. And in the attribute, the color part is our vertex color but we need to know what the name for our vertex colors are. So if I go to the data tab, we can go to vertex colors and by default, it's going to be col, col, C O L, C O L. So I can use that. And now maybe I'll use a mix RGB and I can move these over and plug this into mix RGB along with the color. And then wait for that to load. And then we get something like this. Now maybe I want it to be even darker. I make this less brown. Go down darker. 
go down darker here. Maybe something like that. We can play around with this more after we do our lighting in the next video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to see more Blender videos. Thank you.